Okay, so not a big deal. Just wanted to put up this um, flagpole holder on our new place. And um, really would like to have it on the wall, on the brickwork, not on the trim. Certainly not on the aluminum. And there's wood beneath it, but I don't really want to trust that by going up maybe on this location. So what I did is I marked a place and first I put the... Um, I put the flag in it with the pole extended so I could know where the top would be in terms of where the top would reach so it would clear the gutter and everything and not get, you know, caught up in that. So, um, anyway, I marked it on the wall and I used um, a brick and kind of a mortar kind of concrete bit on this, um, which I'll show you. And that bit, it looks like this. And... Um, that's just a pretty standard, put it up against the white so you can see it better. Pretty standard bit. Um, and I just put it in as long, as far as I needed to get the sinker in there. Uh, yeah, it's an old school Black & Decker. No, it's not battery. <laughs> it's electric because I just like the, um, I like the grunt you get with one of these drills. So that's what I used. Um, marked the hole, pre-drilled it. And that's for these anchors that they provide with the, the flagpole holder. And these are for pretty much anything, but actually they work really well in the brick. Also, I decided to make sure I put a little bit of liquid nails adhesive in there because this stuff will stick to anything. It's kind of like construction adhesive. Now, this is a little bit lighter grade than you'd get maybe in um, a caulk uh, tube. It's a little bit easier to deal with. And I just put a little bit in there first. And then put the anchor, then tap the anchor in, make sure it's nice and tight. And then of course, when you run the screw in, the anchor is going to spread out anyway and um, get tight into the brick. But I just like putting this in anyway to make sure it just is extra solid. And I will say, the other thing I like to do with these when I'm working with um, something like brick is to make sure I put the sinker in with the screw backed out a little bit. I will, you know, press it into the hole and make sure it's it goes in there. Now I had to tap this in with a lightly with a with a rubber mallet just to get it to sit in there um, like that. And um, then I pull it out and then I'll put the adhesive in and tap it back in. Now when the screw goes in, it spreads open, so it's going to hold into the brick. It's not a problem. I just want to make sure I test fit that first so that I know it's going to hold. It's going to have four of these in the base of the flag uh, pole holder, but there's also going to be a lot of wind, um, you know, kind of leverage against that thing because the wind will blow the flag around and the weight of the flag and the pole so I just want to make sure it was good and tight this stuff's actually pretty easy to deal with it really you just put a little bit on your you know finger you just have to make sure you wash it off you know properly later on and I just sort of push it in there and um, get enough in so that I know when I put the sinker in it's going to go all the way in so I put the anchor in the wall with the screw in it and just give it a little bit of a tap and I'm just using a rubber mallet just so I know it's tight and uh, and then I will back the screw out and uh, do the same thing four more times. I'll tell you that to get this level on a brick is a little tricky to mark it. Um, so I usually put one in, put the, put the um, piece up, the flagpole holder or whatever you're doing, um, level it, and then drill the other hole. So that way I get the two bottom holes in and I know it's level and then I can just go ahead and do the rest of it. So now I'm just going to go in here and line this up with a screw hole like this and mark it. But I'm also going to use my flip around, use my level to get it level. So I would put that one screw in, level it up, and then drill it. So now I just put that one screw in so that I can figure out what the proper level for this is. I'm looking at my level, basically pretty good right where it is. I'm just going to scratch it. Make sure it's level. Scratch the brick a little bit so I can, when I take it off, I can find the hole. I'm going to get these two in because that way I know it's level. And then um, I can go from there and drill the other holes just by marking them. Okay, so I've got all four screws in, all four anchors, and I uh, got it pretty much leveled up. And actually, it's it, it, <laughs> it appears a little bit off, but that's because bricks are never completely level. I mean, Basically, it's a brick facade. So, like, for instance, this one's going down, this one's going up. Um, you know, you basically just cite it as level as you can. I guess you can overdo it with the level and end up actually not so level um, looking. But I kind of had to um, make a decision and make it look good and not worry about, 
actual definitely level. So here's what it's going to look like. Okay, so there it is, mounted to the wall with the flagpole in and all tightened up. And uh, it looks pretty good. I think it's the right height for the house. Um, you don't want it to be close to the ground when it's hanging all the way down like it is right now. But um, it has to be, um, it has to always remain in the light. For those of you who might not be aware, if the flag is not lighted, it needs to come down at night. Um, we don't intend to leave it up all the time. I don't like to do that. I don't want it to get all tattered and uh, sun faded. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what it looks like. And then tonight when the lights go on, it'll be lit and we'll be able to show it from here on out. So there it is on the new house. Thanks for watching.